everyone doing? I'm Joe Seals. This is our blog of life on beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. It looks like it's rained last night. It's a bit different. It's been very dry recently. Today might get quite exciting. We've got a new machine coming um, that we're going to have to go and pick up. Mmm. Mmm. It's all a mystery, but I'll probably put it in the title of the video. <laughs> so we'll get today started. We've got a bit of a flood. Yeah, <laughs> I don't fall over. Plant room. So I just had to turn the water off. This is a storage tank, and then it comes through these filters, adds a bit of chemical, and um, gives us nice clean water for the cows. But for some reason, it's overflowing. So we've got water everywhere. I if I explain that well enough, but um, basically, we've got a borehole, so it's like a well, it sucks water up from a well. Um, so that we can save on our water costs <clears throat> um, but it just comes with its own issues like so we get bunged up um, water troughs and stuff like that but um, it saves us a lot of money right i'm going to jump on the 210 and we're going to start a mix it's going to be needed by the end of feeding up today so i've just got the molasses in we'll get it back into the shed And now we'll start ferrying some uh, barley into the mixer. Here we go. Ready for the dust. Sorted. Right, I'm gonna leave that mix in and go and open some gates for my dad and Andy. You enjoying that guys sorry if i disturbed you been down with the spade and cut these guys a bit of fodder beat that got spilt i had to waste any of that valuable valuable feed um because it's well it's not as expensive actually as it was but it's still expensive andy's just collecting bales my dad's continuing to feed fine andy and he's blowing the way. Drop parties begun. So I'm here by the gate with my friendly one, and he's letting me pull his bits off him. What do you want to call them? Mucky bits. He must be getting into spring now. It's losing a bit of hair because they're coming out very, very easy. Lovely jubbly. As that's happening, Andy's coming in with the straw. Andy's just getting the straw put on the outside now. And the straw stack's going down. It's strange and satisfying feeling them uh, pieces of milk off him. I think he likes it as well, we're like licking his um, Anyway, I'm just letting Andy in here. And then um, he's done all his drawing then. These guys have eaten all their feed. I'm looking for some uh, fodder beet next, aren't you? Yeah. It's coffee time. Well, a little bit later, Andy. New machine on its way. Oh, maybe it needs to be collected. I can't remember which one it is, but... I don't know if I've told people in title already, so I'm like trying to keep it a secret, but like it might be... There might be a, a big picture of it or something like that in the title. So if I am, I'm sorry for trying to you string it along. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to drop this bale of hay into here. They have got a little bit left, but they just want uh, a bit more. And I'll get this one wrapped now. Job done. These guys will get in and start eating it. We've got some cattle going this afternoon, so me and Andy are just gonna look around here and see if there's any that we think are ready to go. So me and Andy are just clipping these guys. The clippers. Me and Andy are trying to get his cow to go up, but it's gonna be funny. We're talking about the like clean air zones in cities and stuff. So, is it Yulez, Yulez or something? Oh, hey, hey. 
That's what it is, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah. And like, oh. come on, come on, lad, come on, get up. And um, how are you having to pay to get in? And then we're like, what? Well, surely people having to buy a new car so they don't have to pay. You got like smelt a new car and all that kind of stuff, aren't you? Yeah, but what what's what's environmentally friendly in a new car? If you buy an electric one, they they're mining for the for the, for the components and that. Yeah, you buy a diesel one, one, it's got all filter systems on it that go wrong every ten thousand miles, and you've got to replace it, and it just gets thrown away. Yeah. Uh, who knows? V eight power. <laughs> But like them, all them cars that are going to be sold, cost you know you need to have a new clean one. Yeah. They're only going to go to like some other country in the world yeah, and still be used. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, oh yeah, but but you know in London it'll and be then, clean air. And then the third world countries that are now are going to have newer cars than what we have because we won't be able to afford them. <laughs> they'll be better than us. So what are we doing? Mm. So that's our rant anyway. Oh. To do. We can't work it out. But I've had. My dinner. I'm gonna take some paperwork to Andy, some passports and things, in case um, the delivery delivery people. Basically, if Brownbridge comes to take the cattle to um, to the abattoir, then Andy's got the paperwork. But I'm going. I'm getting to the point here to pick up the new thing now with my mum. Business. I leave Andy here doing a mix, some bits and bobs, putting straw around. And we're gonna get off. I've got my very nice V12 boots on, so I'm not mucky in the my mum's car. And um, we'll go and pick this mystery machine up. Got a favourite album on. So we're just past Donny Multi Market. Open all hours. Yeah. What's that? Like. After 300 yards, turn oh, was right it? onto Belmont oh. Avenue. Ah. I was a British uh, comedy with Ronnie Barker. Um, David Jason. David Jason. Does anybody remember it? Let us know in the it's comments. It's been out recently. Has it? With David Jason in Ronnie Barker's place. Oh. Nurse Gladys Emanuel. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Mm. Anybody remember it? Let me know. Jeez, it's like a fluorescent army. Bride and robes. This has got bride and wire. Yeah, British robes, bride and wire. So, CVA is where we're at. Now turn right and then you will reach your destination. You might have guessed it already. So here we are at CVA Commercial Vehicle Auctions Limited. Oh, we're just having a look round CVA. I think I might put some of this in tomorrow's video when I'm out and about. So check out this. This is a nice colour. I used to have a Defender this colour. What beast. So this is the beast that we bought. So what do you reckon? Do you reckon we can get the cows in there and then the, 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 uh, the sides will hold them in? Let us know in the comments if you think that's a good option. They'll be strong enough sides, won't they? To hold cows? Sure. Um, we might have some other ideas, maybe, possibly. Um, give us what you think we should do. But yeah, that's it. We've changed from Scania to Daff. So there she is. As long as I don't get run over here. Oh, I'm crossing my fingers that uh, it all works. Bo's only jumping in and a bit of time will tell. Oh. Three seats, eh? Oh, me, Andy, and my dad will be able to go out getting cattle in for once, not just uh, taking two vehicles. That'd be nice. Um, so, yeah, hopefully she drives all right. Come across our first issue in the DAF. I can't find where the ignition is because it's different to the Scania. <sighs> It's all right, I found it. It's above the indicator stalk there, hidden away from here. You can't see it. So I'm looking underneath. It's in a pretty obvious place, to be honest. Like, oh, you're joking me. 
Right, I need two hands for this. I think it's got wheel lock on. Well, that's what I'm hoping. Okay, okay. Oh, she's got some ad blue in. It starts. That's a good sign. That is a good sign. Right, we're ready. She's all up and running. I'm going to get off home. Start the next bit. Oh, I made it back into the yard. What a beast. It's better than my car. It's got cruise, it's got adaptive cruise control. That's what that's all about, right? So as the car's in front of you and it starts slowing down, the wagon starts slowing down. That's mega. Hold it on the bridge. Amazon's here. Come stick it away. What do you reckon there, Nan, Dave? Quite tidy, to be honest. It does, it's not it so bad, is it? Bad, it's got I got that up. Private number plate. Mary. Mystery. Mystery, is it? Mary, yeah. Anybody want to buy that number plate? Let me know. Motocross Ladler MX67. Yeah. <laughs> Steering back axle and lifting back axle. Oh, I might have, you know. I didn't notice that. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's better than. I've just been saying, Andy, it's literally it's better than my car. Yeah. So that adaptive cruise. You can lift this back axle up, which is the same as what we could do on our old lorry, but. This also actually steers, so it'll, you can get round tighter. Ash reckons you'll get anywhere with that, he says. Andy's looking in the store. Oh, look at that. Get your wellies in there. Storage box. I was saying, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, Andy, whether or not this will all cattle in, but I think it'll do for now, won't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah until we can get something sorted. What do people reckon? Yeah, add blue. So that must be the uh, distance cruise sensor there, like that. So we'll give it away now and uh, park it up and see what we're going to do next. So Oh, yeah, 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 hi. Yeah, it's got camera. Oh, I might need to... Looks like it's just glued on or something. We should mastic it back on. Um, and yeah, there's a camera in front there. That looks like a camera at the top as well, doesn't it? And then a camera on the back. And obviously at this side as well. It's going to be the flashiest, like, farmer cow lorry ever, this. Just need some... What, what should we get up front? A big... Uh, Cow's head or something. Highland Highland horns. Make this into a, like a Sunday. Like you could have that, and then you could get a tea and stick it there. Yeah. And we could have daft comment of the week. Yeah. <laughs> we, what can we have instead of mix of mentions? Daft. Think of something. Instead of mix of mentions, daft what? Daft comments. Daft. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. I'm excited about it. I wasn't that excited about it when my dad said what we got. But then after driving it, it's really, really nice. Like, I can see it's just sitting on the motorway or whatever and just clicking that cruise control on. Forget about the world. Though. You can drive down to Devon and get some cattle. I keep showing you some of the same. Yeah. Yeah, do a long trip. Long haul. Andy to show us the rear steer. Here you go, Andy. Come on, Andy. You turn your wheels. Yeah. And you, and you backwards turning, yeah. Just turning, yeah. I think Joe's very excited. So to try and so to try and be able to get all the cattle in at, to try and get all the cattle in at once Andy's just working out how we take the sheep back and then we run all the cattle in and then run the sheep back to the end so otherwise Andy we're gonna have to lift we're gonna have to put cows in like at two and three at a time aren't we on back lift there mm. 
Mmm. Ah, it's gonna be difficult, isn't it? Yeah. Well, they'll just jump off when we lift it up. Ah. We've not thought this through. We've really not thought this through. With the hand. Now they say. <laughs> we'll shut the door. Look at that. Job done. But we're now trying to take the curtains off. This isn't helping getting the cattle in under at all. It's coming off easier than I expected, actually. Anyway, sorry about that. I'll pull it back for you. And we're now going for the other side off, which is going to be... It's going to be even worse. Um, oh, this one's not out. There we go. Andy, we've got like a young farmer's stage now, haven't we? Barn dance. <laughs> Barn dance. That's what we could sort out now. You've been desperate to play with that, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I've got to check out the cattle thing. Uh, all work's done. Take us up and down. Down. Does it go up? Yeah, I'll jump on it. I'm... Flick it, flick it to up then. Oh, and then there is a remote inside, isn't there? Right, I'm going to admit, we don't actually need this. That's why we're taking these curtains off, if you haven't already guessed it. Um, we're going to be doing a bit of swapping around. Bye, Andy! Um, so, I don't know if anybody needs one of them. Let me know if you do, because it is for sale. Because um, we don't need it. It's going to be coming off. Simulate with the curtains, if anybody wants any of them. Or a roof, or any of this box section at the back. Uh, let me know, ASAP. Looks a bit different without any curtains on. Taking all the uh, screws out of the headboard now. Looks like a newer wagon now with them uh, curtains off. Andy's got the the wood off now. Now we've got the box on. Look. Oh no, we've not. The proper dash leaving. I think that's that's a 5.30, that one, Andy. It's the right weapon. Beast. Machinery Nation are going to be watching this, Andy, because um, he's told me that they're going to be watching. Yeah. We need an impact driver, don't we? <laughs> we need a good deal on a Milwaukee impact <laughs> driver, James. Because <laughs> Andy's hands are nearly destroyed. <laughs> Andy's getting on the monkey bars at the end of the lorry. We've got the... The wood off. Looking good. Thanks to the cattle gills for lending us their trailer. Um, so we could get some cattle shifted around today. Got a few more thank yous to do as well on the mixer mention. Now yesterday I forgot these people. So excited with Pancake Day. I don't know what it was. I forgot to do mixer mentions. I tried to put it in a story. I'm not sure if that went up on the internet. But anyway, um, that's, I apologise basically. Steve Shuttler, 41, happy birthday for yesterday. Archie, who was 10 yesterday, and Robert Evans, who's on the mend now. Um, he's, been, he's been poorly, he's got a long way still to go, but he's now on the mend, which is great. Um, Rob Salt is 23 today, today, happy birthday. And Molly Hayes is eight. So Molly, uh, James from Machinery Nation is Molly's dad. Uh, they all wish her a happy birthday today. So thank you very much guys. Well over four thousand pounds I think we've raised now for the air ambulance, which is fantastic. Thank you so much for your kind donations. I'm not sure how much more we're gonna do on this lorry tonight, but eventually we're gonna cut, 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 take it all off so it's got a flat bed, then get that box and reverse under it, and then we've got a new lorry ready for this weekend. And is liking the lights or something. LED side lights, isn't it? LED side lights. It's got lights inside, look. We could do it. We'll nab that off and we'll put it in cattle truck. Carnival float. Yeah. Me and Andy have got the wire off for the camera. 
um, eventually. Took long enough, didn't it? Mm. Um, but um, yeah, this video is getting really, really long. So um, the plan is, we into the night, we're going to take off the um, roof of the lorry. And then it's gonna, just going to be left with the four pillars that Andy and my dad can sort out tomorrow when I'm not here. Um, so yeah, if people have liked it, if you like the new lorry, then please press the like button and subscribe if you're not already. Um, it's going to be a bit funny when we get the, the box on because there's going to be a bit of a gap because it's a longer lorry than uh, our original one. But we've got a future plan for that. So, um, so yeah, you have to watch this space and uh, check out tomorrow when I get back. Thanks for watching, guys. Anyway, we'll see you later.